What's up, you guys? Welcome to Rob Scott Reactions. You are here on one of my favorite days here on the channel because it is Female Friday, and you're here with your girl Amber and your boy Jane. It's also Film Friday. Make sure to go check out Rob Squad Movie Reactions, and you might as well check out Rob Squad Vlogs as well. Be the ultimate RSR family member. But here on Female Fridays, I never know what we have until Mom drops it on all of us at the same time. What you got today? I love new artists on Female Friday, so we're checking out Miss Esther Phillips. The song is. No headstone on my grave. Now, this is fun because we're going way back because this artist rose to fame in the 50s. We going, we're going back. back to the 50s? Yeah, we're going back. Way back with Miss Esther Phillips today. What genre are we getting? Um, 50s? I, I think, well, with the 50s, I think you guys said that we're getting some kind of like bluesy, jazzy type of vibe. We'll see. Let's get it. I'm pumped up for this. If y'all are new here to the channel, make sure y'all don't forget that like in this video, hitting that subscribe button, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. Y'all send us suggestions. We got to give the people what they want. On Fridays, y'all give mama suggestions. But I'm ready to and check And then I give out. you guys what you and want. mom gives y'all what y'all want. I do it on Fridays. It Friday. is the day mom gives the people what they <laughs> want. Esther Phillips, No Headstone on My Grave. Sounds bluesy. The title sounds bluesy. Let's check it out. Mm, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Oh. Don't put no headstone on my grave. Ooh. And you get some piano nice. with it. Let's get it. All my life I've been a slave. And I don't want the world to know. Here lies the fool that loves you so. Then move on. Just put me down and let me be. Oh. Free from all this misery. Now tell my mother, tell my mother not to cry. Tell her that I'm finally free From all the trouble you caused me But please don't, please don't put no headstone on no grave Like I said, all my life I've been a slave right there that ah, ah, ah. Uh -huh. y'all know if you y'all y'all must have gave this for your boy because y'all know i absolutely love amy winehouse and man this right here she has that so amy sounds like amy learned her tricks from somewhere exactly like it sounds like amy learned her tricks yeah. from Miss esther phillips because she she she's got this that you know when it comes to jazz music like there's just that it factor about the voice yeah. like it's got the scratchy it's got the spunk it's, it's easy, gotta it, be smoky it's gotta right, be mysterious exactly it's smoky have mysterious so many qualities and like that's what she has in her voice and especially when she gets to that chorus and the no headstone on my grave just the way that she gives you that grit kind of yeah. to me it gives gives me like spooky like new orleans type i was about to say i was like am i feeling like oh, you're wearing wearing the shirt shirt. Today, look. i was like girl you're because i could do that i could have something in my head and feel it that way but no i i get the same feeling because also when we mentioned mystery there's just something a little bit eerie about the song of course she's talking about don't put no head on my grave i don't want nobody to know i loved you i don't want nobody to know i was a fool and and you can tell my mama that i'm in a better place because I'm away from all your mess and all the trouble you caused me. But yeah, it, it gives that very mysterious vibe that New Orleans as a city as a whole yeah. gives. But then also it has that jazzy side. It has that really soulful side. Just the way you hear the piano plays. Do you like with this type of mu music? I feel like the artists make it sound like you know they've been through something. For sure, like, right? That's why I mean we visit a lot of cities. You know, New Orleans is probably my favorite. It's coolest my favorite city I've ever city been to. That I, no doubt. And, Man, I, and I've been to San Francisco. Mystery. All that. Like, something about new orleans like it's it's just my favorite too. I, it's just so much it's the culture and then that's why also i love coming back to music like this 
because you also feel like you you get some you get some culture you get some history mm-hmm. you get some real life feelings in the music. I too. feel like especially in New Orleans, like you can feel the mystery walking down the street. Oh yeah, so I look, like, like you can feel the. Is that history. a vampire? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Let's get back. The slave. Just put me down and let me be. I want you to put me down and cover me up and let me be free from all this misery, Lord. Just let me be right now, pretty baby, and just let me go. Yes, Miss Esther. Yes, Miss Esther. That was absolutely amazing. Hey, I, I, I ain't got to say nothing. Y'all, y'all know this. Y'all know that I absolutely love that style. You know, I, I've, that's why I've loved Amy Winehouse. But now I am a, have a new person to be a fan of. So thank y'all for that. I just personally can't go ending this video without talking about how cool the backing vocals were too. Though. They were, they, they, they were cool. They, they put a different effect. They, on. they added, were. they added so much in there because sometimes they were haunting as well so it added to like the overall feeling of the song but i thought the backing vocals were also really nice with that piano and then her voice on top of it with the lyrics and just the the charisma that it takes to sing jazz yeah it was awesome the backing vocals remind reminded me of the scene from oh brother why art that where they're all walking down to the water like the, yeah yeah those those that, like, that uh, would be awesome uh, uh, is it a congregation is that, is that what you call no them? i was thinking like muses hercules <laughs> vibe too <laughs> That's what I was getting from it. Guys, thank y'all for that suggestion. Drop some more Esther Phillips down in the comments. You're talking about like the Lotus Eater scene. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one you're talking about. Drop it down in the suggestions. I have to get some more of that. Thank y'all. But as we always send you out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed to see another day. And for your new family members to hit that subscribe button down below, we welcome y'all to the RSR family. But y'all have a goal every day, just like we do. Let them know. All right, guys. All you have to do is make somebody smile. We love y'all. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.